what is savage sobriety? You know, um, that's the uh, name of my uh, private group I have on Facebook. And it's funny because, you know, sobriety has been um, primarily identified as drugs and alcohol. But that's not the uh, theme of my group. You know, the theme of my group is being sober-minded, you know. That means all the addictions, all the self-destructive behaviors, all the emotional, mental, and spiritual issues that come to clutter up our lives to create chaos, drama, and dysfunction. You know, so whether it's, you know, you're struggling with budgeting, struggling, struggling with communication, struggling with self-esteem and self-worth, that's what savage sobriety means to me. That means I am working to be on point in all areas. I haven't compartmentalized my life to just be good from nine to five at work and then be a mess the rest of the day. You know, a lot of people do that. that that's where you get this functional alcoholic or functional addict or functional uh, uh, crazy person. <laughs> You know, because they're only functional in one area of their life. They're two-dimensional. You know, and I look, I want to be three-dimensional. I want to be a savage in all areas. I want to be sober-minded in all areas. I, I want to be able to excel and grow and not stagnate and just settle for the insanity that I used to have. And so I see that with a lot of people where you have made compromises with, with the craziness. You've made compromises with whoo, the dysfunction. And I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to live like that. You don't have to live, you know how they say you live your best life? We're doing the opposite, man. We're living, we're living the less life. And you don't have to do that. All those promises, all those dreams, all those ideas, it's there for you. But you have to be willing to put yourself in an environment of change. And see, that's where, that's where the struggle is. That's where the struggle is, you know, because um, a lot of people, and it's not just, you know, uh, my clients that struggle with addictions, you know, I think it's our society. We have this get rich quick mentality. We have this short term microwavable uh, uh, um, result mindset. And you cannot gain anything substantial quick, fast, and in a hurry. You've got to put the time in, you've got to put the work in, it's got to be consistent. So when I'm building my network, I have a, a pretty big network of, of just wisdom, wealth, and compassion. I mean, there aren't too many friends I can't just call upon for either resources or ideas or compassion. But it took me a minute to build that thing, okay? And I'm still expanding. I am always looking for good people to be on my team. And, I, and I'm telling you, and, I, and, and to qualify myself, I am a great friend. I am an excellent friend. And I and I and I and I have testimonies about that. <laughs> you know, um and it's and it's to me that's that's been the people that God has blessed me with has been the key to developing greater and greater wealth in all areas of my life. You know, I mean, even when it comes to my clientele, I don't take everybody on my caseload. You've got to come with, with an attitude. I don't want to put this. You've got to want it, okay? You've got to be hungry for something better. I'm not here to drag anybody into the, the better life. I can't do it. It's just not possible. You know, you, you've got to want to have the courage to change. And that's why I'm so proud of 
all my friends, my family members, my clients that 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 put up with me. <laughs> put up with my my crazy antics, my advice, my bluntness, my sarcasm, my humor. I appreciate all of you guys who put up with me because I learn from you as much as I teach. It is a mutual educational relationship I build with everybody I encounter. And this is part of the, 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 the sober-minded. You know, I have to be around people that want to be sober-minded, that are sober-minded, that, that, that want to excel in life. And I hope that you want that too. So if you want to learn more about building that lifestyle that is legendary for yourself, hit me up. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.